Get durable, energy efficient, labor saving drying with Sunny's air dryer systems featuring quick change nozzle design and elephant ear manifolds. Our systems dry a vehicle more completely, specific to the environmental, water quality, and chain speed conditions at your car wash. Sunny's quick change nozzles allow you to mix high impact round, wide angle fixed, adjustable quick set, flexible quick flip, and full vehicle height elephant ear manifold for a perfect result for your exact requirements. Each producer uses a unique scrolled housing with unrestricted airflow. This harnesses power that is fully adjustable to efficiently push water off the sides of a vehicle, directly to the ground rather than to the back. Sunny's air dryers feature steel impellers with backward curved blades welded on both sides for durability. Our air dryers are available in black, red, or blue housings to match your car wash's brand. The system is constructed on a 4x4 inch modular Quad X aluminum frame for extreme durability. Safe, reliable, high performance vehicle wash technology. Visit sunnysdirect.com for details. Stay tuned for an in-depth overview of this product with Anthony Analetto, Chief Operations Officer for Sunny's, the car wash factory. Hi, welcome to Sunny's The Car Wash Factory. Last thing we need to talk about here are our air dryers. The last step in washing a car. No sense of getting it clean if we can't get it dry. And more importantly, can we get it dry at a cost-effective price? And to do that, it's uh, multiple angles, multiple heads, and maximum performance out of your dryers. One of the things we do here at Sunny's is we build our units so that they are multifunctional. Each housing mounts either way, uh, right-hand right side or left-hand drive and all the attachments are bolt-on. So you can do a bolt-on attachment to do what we call our elephant air dryer. We can do a bolt-on attachment to do our quick set. We've also got now our bolt-on round nozzle, which has really turbocharged the performance of our blowers and keeping a nice uh, concentric shape that'll reach right down and hit the surface of the hood with more impact than we did with any of our other shapes. We also do have our uh, standard rectangular that's about uh, at 12 degrees to get a nice wide pattern like these are to get the corner of the big SUVs where they change in size and shape and height where you need a little bit more coverage. It's important to think to look at your potential conveyor speed and uh, your potential throughput in cars per hour and then from there work into what size dryer system is going to give you a dry car at the maximum speeds that you may be willing to wash or maybe be able to wash. Depending on your conveyor speed and your potential throughput you'll want to look at the dryers and configure it so that it'll maximize your performance. Some areas we do uh, 15 horsepower producers and then a bunch of 10 horsepower producers to cover more surface area. We do build them in 10 horsepower and 15. It's a different blade for each one. We have a special design blade for the elephant air to give us a little more performance for, this, for the bigger opening that we have here. Um, the, the different size nozzles and the different shape nozzles make it so that you can adjust your drying system to max your drying speed. And it's important to be able to adjust and grow with your volume and this blower system here allows you to change heads and change nozzles so that you can maximize your performance from 60 cars an hour when you first open and hopefully up to 120 cars an hour when the site's a little bit more mature. Come on in and let's take a look at a couple of the housings and I'll show you exactly how these attachments work. Okay, we'll take a close look at our blower housings. Again, we'll be talking about how they were designed. The housing itself is, uh, is, is designed so it can go either clockwise or counterclockwise. No matter how we put it on the, the mounting plate, It'll go either way. The Vittori then bolts onto the front from whatever side it is. They're symmetrical on both sides. The nozzle itself, the attachment piece, is done with eight bolts. And the, the holes are drilled into here already and they're pre-drilled in here. All you gotta do is slide this on, and set them up, and put them in and tighten them up. This one here is what we call our quick set nozzle. Quick set nozzle is designed so we can go from 28 degrees backwards to straight down or 12, 28 degrees that way. You take the pin out and go to the other side there's three, two more positions that give us 12 degrees backwards and 12 degrees forwards. And we do that on purpose. This one here, the way we have it set up right now, at the speeds that we plan on running is about 120 cars an hour. We've got this one almost straight down. The faster we go with the car, the, the straighter angle we can have with the air dryer and the speed of the car becomes our angle. If we were only running a 60 car chain speed, we might come back here and put it at, at 28 degrees. At 100 cars an hour, we might set it at 12 degrees. If you look up at the one we have above here, we've got it actually facing the back of the car as the car exits the tunnel. We're still coming down, the top of the car should be dry. As the car leaves and gets pushed out the door, we're actually going to do the back glass with that last nozzle by flipping it 
towards the back of the car. Even this one here will tend to follow and contour the shape of the car. Because if it's coming straight down, it'll contour the body. The neat part about these here is if we decide we need a little more pressure, we go a little faster, we can convert this one here real easy to our round nozzle. And our round nozzle is set up at 12 degrees, which gives us um, a, a good stripping at slow speeds, but yet still has the velocity to, to hit the car properly at, a, at the high speeds. And the round nozzle, kind of like our, uh, our tube nozzle for our Omni, it keeps that airflow straighter, tighter, gives us more impact as the vehicle's further away. So we normally use the round one up top, up high, and then we change and use our quick sets and our rectangular, and then our elephant ears on the sides of the vehicle. Again, you need to mix them up and match them up because every car's got a different shape. So we need to have multiple nozzles in multiple positions to try to dry all the different vehicles that are gonna enter our car wash. These blowers here are shown in our, our newest color that's available is blue, and uh, we do have them in black, which is our most standard. It hides the most dirt, it looks uh, easy, cleans real easy, and, and recovers well. And we also do have red available. So you can custom tailor your blower design to match your color theme in your cloth or the color theme of your car wash. So pick them and choose them and utilize your 10 horse, 15 horse, and the multiple colors to design whatever type of blower you need for your location. I'd like to take a minute or two to talk about our elephant air dryer. This is something that we created with uh, our friends at Protovest. They've built a bag for us to attach to our uh, air producer. And what we're doing is just trying to get a taller uh, airflow so we can just finish the car from the top of the big SUV right down to the wheels and get those last few drops of water and spread them out and push them down off the side of the car. And this has done really well for us. The neat part about this one here, it's retrofittable to any one of our old blowers. It, uh, to get maximum performance, we would need to change the blower blade because we have designed a special one to do that. It will work with the 15 horsepower blade. You'll have a little bit less performance here, but it'll do uh, a job just as good and draw a little less amps than the 15 horsepower motor normally does. The neat thing about this here is we've also got our holes slotted so we can rotate the housing a little bit forward or backwards. So we can, again, talk just like we did about our quick sets. We can actually aim them at the car at a slow chain speed to help strip the car off or we can aim them straight at the car as they go by or even a little bit back forward so we can help get that mirror one last time as they come by the car wash. One of the other things we did in the design process, this one here is mounted conventionally for a big wide tunnel. It's no problem to have 16 foot clearance, but for some of our in-bay customers and some of our uh, conversion washes or narrow or funny exit ends, we can actually do an extension on here and put this motor up top and turn it around and we can fit this in as narrow as a 12 foot wide bay. And that's real unique and it's great for these uh, in-bay automatic conversions to car washes or just blowers and in-bay automatics. And I think we're, it's a, the strongest blower we can fit in a narrow space like that. It's a great addition to any blower system that we have of ours or, or it's a, a must-have, I think, in a new system and a new setup to do the final uh, cleanup of it. Again, it's available in blue, black, and red. Black's our most popular color because it cleans easy, it doesn't show as much dirt. Uh, either one of them will work great. So take a look at them and see if you can incorporate them into your wash today.